With each stroke of the brush in this studio in Belltown, Joy Robinson is preserving history. Creating art is something Joy has done his whole life. He's designed thousands of paintings, but his tribute to who he calls the unsung heroes in America's work industry is his most prominent work. From slavery to Reconstruction, uh, black women worked, uh, many of them worked as maids, the ones that didn't get a chance to go to college or school. Joey started the Black Maids Tribute to honor his neighbor who was killed during the 1967 riots. Outrage over racial injustice sparked riots in 158 cities that summer, including his hometown, Newark, New Jersey. As a kid, I remember hearing gunshot. I remember hearing people screaming. They killed Lois, they killed Lois, they killed Lois. In 2003, the vision for how to honor Lois came to life. When she would go to church on Sundays, we would all stand outside and just, it was like she had a, a committee waiting for her. Miss Lois, oh, you look wonderful, you look wonderful. But she also did a job that no one, no one else wanted to do. Each painting tells a story of a real maid. The tributes have been purchased by collectors from all over the world and were featured on Grey's Anatomy. But these works of art weren't always seen in a positive light. At first when I started painting them, I was criticized for them having a black face, just a black face. Now Joey credits two black women for giving this series a new audience. Vivian Phillips and Jasmine Scott are the mother and daughter behind Art Noir. A meeting between the trio sparked the idea to take black maids from the canvas to cups and bags. They're the only ones that believed in me to do that. I mean, the only ones. People had mentioned that before, but no one's ever done it. It was too daring. From an art gallery to a retail shop, every corner is an expression of black culture created by local black artists. The relief that people uh, exhibited when I said, you know what, we want to purchase your items up front. We will do the work of the marketing and promotion and selling. You just bring this stuff here and we'll take care of the rest. This space is more than just a business. It represents the revitalization of a neighborhood that has changed dramatically over the years. According to the census, in the 1960s, Seattle Central District was 90% black. It's now below 10%. We were redlined in this community, and this was the only place that we were really designated to be, and so we made the best of it. And so this is where our businesses were. This is where all the home ownership was. And so when that's why the impact of gentrification hurt so bad, because we knew how we got here. Now black Seattleites like Jasmine are pushing to reclaim the community. Instead of feeling like something is happening to us, we decided to take control of our destiny and say, you know what, we want to have a permanent place in our community that's for us, that's by us, and we don't have to follow anybody's rules but our own. For artists like Joey, Art Noir serves as a keeper of the culture. For the community, it's an inspiration, showing the power of resilience.